to all my friends and family out there across the globe, happy Easter. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Louis. I'm a 52-year-old man living right here in Sweden. And these are, yes, Swedish trees you see around me. Um, I love my family. I love my work. I work as a, as a teacher and a personal trainer. I love life in general. I'm just like you, I guess. Uh, I live life to the fullest. I love it. I'm out here today jogging in the forest. You know, what's not to love? Um, but since it's Easter, I would like to say something else. I love being a believer, not a believer, a believer. I love being a Latter-day Saint or a Mormon, as it's sometimes called. Why? Because I do love the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know, you know, living in the modern era, and especially here in Sweden, you don't, so you don't say that without sounding crazy. Um, but, you know, you look at me, you tell me if I'm crazy or not. Don't answer that. But anyway... As much as I like the, the eggs and the Easter bunnies and all that, uh, Easter time is not the Easter bunnies time. It's Christ time. And I think we need to be reminded of that. Uh, you know, we think about his atoning sacrifice. He gave his life for the world, for all of mankind. We celebrate his resurrection. Because he lives, we will live again. And that's important to state. And it's more than just saying those words. Um, I'm thinking about this this time of year. It's a great symbol of what I mean. You know, God has created this beautiful world, and at this time, it's like He places His hands on nature, and everything comes alive. And I think that's how it is with the atonement of Jesus Christ. Everything that Jesus touches comes to life. Hearts are mended, wounds are healed. Uh, we're able to love and forgive in a new and redeeming kind of way. And this is nothing but weird or crazy. This is good news. This is. The Easter news, it's good news for the whole world to hear. It should be shared. So today I would like for, for all of us to give ourselves a challenge, me included. Uh, I know that not everyone is, is a believer uh, who looks at this, and that's okay. I, I don't think you're weird. Um, but if you bear with me for a second, I would like for us to place a seed in our heart. And I would like to call this seed the Spirit of Christ. And what I mean for us to do is that when we talk to someone, we talk to them the way that Christ would talk to someone. When we look at someone, we look at that person the way Jesus would look at them. In fact, I would like for us to see Jesus in that other person, because I do believe God moves within every one of us. There's divinity in every person on this earth. And again, if you're not a, if you're not a believer, that's fine, but just try to look for goodness in that other person. And when we do something, that we try to do things out of love, the way Jesus would do them, with unconditional love. And, you know, can we do this? Yes, we can. <laughs> it's not that hard, you know, we can, we can start somewhere. Yes, it's hard to be perfect all the time, but we can start with small acts of kindness and do things the way that Jesus would do them and say them and, and, uh, and, and talk to other people the way he, that he would. We can change the world if we do that. And, uh, you know, can you imagine the way our families would be, our society and the world around us, if we would just take this to heart and live the way that Christ lived? Um, he lives. He lives. And, you know, this is real. And what can I say? Just, just try it out. Place this seed in your heart and see what would happen. I think you would be really surprised. Christ moves within every one of us. Have a happy Easter and God bless you all.